So um, in this example, ladies and gentlemen, we have 2x plus 16, 2x plus 6, x plus 14, and x plus 14. All right? So what they're asking us to do is find the value of x. Well, to do a problem like that, one thing we need to make sure that we have is, well, what is the sum of all the angles? So hopefully, maybe if you guys have done so many of these with quadrilaterals, you might have an idea. But remember, we can always go back to our formula that the sum of all of these angles, this angle plus this plus this plus this, is equal to n minus 2 times 180, where n represents what, Ashley? n represents the number of sides. So in this case, we have four sides. So it's 4 minus 2 times 180, which equals 2 times 180, which equals 360 degrees. So what that means, again, is that is the sum of all of the angles. So Terrell, what I write is I write 2x plus 16 plus 2x plus 16 plus x plus 14 plus x plus 14 equals 360 degrees. Does that make sense? It's the sum of all of those angles equals 360 degrees. Now what we need to do is we need to solve. <laughs> so to solve this, what we're going to have to do now is combine are terms that have variable factors that are the same, which is x. So we can combine these as 2x plus 2x is 4x, plus x plus x is going to be 6x. 16 plus 16 is going to be 32. 14 plus 14 is 28. So that's going to give us 16. Oh. No, I'm sorry. 60, right? Yeah. 60 equals 360. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a two-step equation we can solve for. So I subtract 60. 6x six equals 300. Divide by 6, divide by 6, x equals 50. Therefore, what that says is the measure of x is going to equal 50 degrees. Okay.